good afternoon again. It's Scrap Green here. Okay, I'm going to take apart that gas fired uh, uh, dryer, clothes dryer that I picked up. Uh, got it off from an online uh, classified, picked it up free. So I'm going to take it apart and let's see what we can get out of it beyond just the shred weight of uh, 10 cents a pound for whatever this thing weighs 50, 60 pounds. Okay, let's begin. Don't forget. Put on safety glasses, wear gloves. I'm wearing the thick gloves today just because it's like minus 20. Uh, don't let the bright sunlight fool you. We're still up in, in Canada and and it's Canada. It's been a bitter cold winter. I, I've seen some of the news from down in the south, down at the States too. So I uh, can't wait for spring. But let's begin uh, in this dryer right now. The first thing you do on a dryer of this type, if you were repairing it, well you'd pull out the inside. And then there's some screws right up at the top of the lint trap. Pop them out. Because I'm on the driveway, I don't want to lose using my magnetic dish. Don't want to lose any of the screws. And then you can pop up the top. Let's see what we got. Alright. Pretty typical, dirty, dirty old, uh, dirty old dryer. Little switch here. The van seems to be all intact. The burners on the back seem fine. Um, I'm probably going to take the front panel off. Okay, what I've done now is I've just turned it back around, put the lid back on, uh, loosened the, the har harnesses, the wiring harness. Well, let's get that tin thing done. These are the wiring harness from up top. We'll pull off these pieces of, of tin from the back so I can get at the electronic switches. And then we'll get at the motor a little later. Pulling off the knobs from the front. The big one. Here we go. All 
right, if this switch here, not only is it loaded up with some brass, some copper, I'll have to see what's in there. I got a little motor as well on it. So we'll kick these switches over. Now let's get this back panel off. As I was moving the dryer around, some loose change fell out of it. So I'm already 50 cents off. Let's see what we got. Another piece of tin. Trying to get as many of these screws as I can. some clips, that looks like the light bulb, sensor, looks like I'm going to have to take the front off to get at that point. All right, I had to go back to the front of the dryer to take off the lid. Uh, at the front of dryers, on this type, single panel design, there's a, a screw hole here and one here, you take out the bolts. And as I could tell, I knew that there was going to be some money in this dryer because uh, I could hear it rattling away. So as I took off this front panel, as you can see it separates nice and easy from the, from the drum. Look what I've got here. Oh whack of money. Those uh, things here, that's a dollar, several dollars of uh, cash. Some guitar picks looks like the people who own this dryer were guitar players. Uh, a whole bunch of other people's lint, but uh, I'm already up cash. What can you say? All right, let me uh, get the tension and the drum out of here. Okay, with the front off, and I, I took my shop back out, uh, get rid of much of the lint. Oh, but first I uh, wanted to make sure I got all the change out of there. Just by looking at that, that's, uh, I see a bunch of $2 coins. In Canada, if you ever come across these, mail them to me, I'll give you a quarter for them. No, they're two dollar coins. Uh, the brown ones are dollar coins. Obviously, there's pennies, quarters, dimes, nickels, that type of stuff there. I don't know. I'll figure out what it is, but it looks like ten bucks. Just right up the bat. All right. You can see right here we got our gas assemblies, the switching and, and burners and so on. And if we look back there, you can see the motor. It's hard to tell right now if that's copper, enameled copper, or, or it's got some sort of varathane varnish on aluminum, but we'll take it apart. Let's see if I can position this safely so I don't use my camera. Now, what you want to do is get this. connector so you can flip it off. You see how that happened with the, the spring-loaded pulley system. Now, I'm going to just pull the camera out and I'm going to take the next step. All right, I'm coming back up top here. Now you see the, see the belt that went around the pulley just a second ago. I can grab a hold of it if you can see me grabbing a hold of the belt, it comes all the way around. And you grab a hold of it and use the belt to help you lift the drum out. Okay, but I'm going to have to use two hands here, it's a little bit heavy. So I'm going to put the camera back on the stand. Alright. Grabbing the drum with the pulley belt. In the other hand, just lifting it out. There we go. Metal drum, safe and sound. So we can see in here I've got the burner unit with the wiring harness. I've got some pulley wheels, pieces of tin looks like. I've got some more dirty old motor. I'll uh, just pull out the shop back, clean this out a little bit more, and then I'll get to work on taking these, uh, these uh, bits of iron, bits of brass, uh, a couple pumps here. 
Wow, little electric motors here that's going to have some copper in them. Hopefully that big motor down there has copper in it as well. Okay. All right, I'm back again. Okay, what I've done is I just pulled the harness through, uh, the wiring harness. I've got a bunch of screws in here. I'll just take these all out so I can get at Get this uh, gas in and out of here. I'm sure if I wanted to, I could take uh, a hammer and beat it to death, but uh, that's not my way. Another piece of tape. Alrighty. Let's see, does it come out? It almost took it out. What do we got? Oh, a little bit of... Uh, it's stuck on the back. Let's see what's sticking out. Alright. Let's see if a little bit of prying action will... Just like this move. Sometimes a little tug doesn't hurt anyone. There we go, the gas burner. Some brass, bronze, copper, aluminum cast, wiring. This all looks like steel pipe. Steel, steel, brass, bronze, brass, steel. So there's a couple pieces here we're taking apart out of that. Steel, steel, leave it on. One of the big disappointments was, you can see it here, the motor. I took my file to the motor, to the coils, gave it a little sand, and I'm coming up aluminum. So that great big huge motor that's sitting on there is going to be aluminum. I will take it out because aluminum motors Electric motors will go for uh, about three times as much as shred tin. It's not really worth it to take it apart because by the time you do all that work for the for the dirty aluminum, it's not really worth it. All right, I'll just get that motor out. Oh, I got one of the copper top boys with me here today. He's been counting up the money that we found in there. How much did we find, uh, Blaster? Eight. Eighteen dollars and you're on camera, buddy. Eighteen dollars and thirty-seven cents. You notice uh, my son there? He's he's wearing his safety glasses, even though he's not even anywhere near it. I got him with safety gloves on, and that's a good tip for anyone who ever wants to get into into scrapping. Always wear your gloves. Always wear safety glasses. Okay, we're down to the carcass now. All of this, you take your magnet. You just want to double check you've got the magnet. Everything steel. Something. With even this yellow metal down here, I thought it might have been brass or aluminum. Well, another 10 cent piece down here. This is a dryer that just keeps on giving. So, pocket that right away. Now, back here we got a light. And the screen, uh, the screw there, excuse me, is, uh, is steel. But I know the back protector, you can't see it. I've already checked it out is in fact this piece right here it's a nice piece of aluminum so I'm just going to unscrew that and throw it in my aluminum bucket because you know what like everybody says if you're just scrapping every little bit counts and though there's a little bit of a electric switch there look at that old dirty dirty thing light bulb what do we have here just a little Connector, if I had my plier handy. Oh, oh, broke the light bulb. But that's just going to go into with the other room and to the garbage bucket. All right. What I'm going to do now is just clean it all up and uh, pile all the all the steel that's going in for shred into the in back into the carcass. Put the front back on. Put the drum in and. Uh, 
we'll be ready to take it off to the dump. Okay, and we'll come back and we'll see what we got uh, from stripping this apart. We're not counting the 19 bucks that we already got in, in change already. Okay, all right. Uh, before we wrap up for today's uh, episode on the dryer, you can see here, just got some, put the drum back in haphazardly because I'm going to end up, you know, putting it in the in, in my van. Uh, the front panel, back panel drum, some some steel, the aluminum wound motor, tons of screws, the gas valve. So I got two copper bearing motors here. I got some cast here, uh, some gas fitting brass, tons of money. Uh, you know, about 20 bucks. Got a switch here. Don't know what's in the plastic, but we definitely got an electric motor out top. Some probably some copper in here. Uh, some copper there. This was the igniter, but the igniter on a gas uh, right here is stuck out about this far. They're so fragile. As soon as you as soon as you move them, they basically uh, break. Wiring carcass. A little bit of aluminum. Some more copper wire. All in all, a great day, enjoyable day. Although it's 40 below, and I'm off to the rodeo. Take care. Bye now.